And I'll tell you a memory from my very first retreat with him. He called his intensive Zen retreats, Yongmen Jonjins. Yongmen Jonjin in Korea means to leap like a tiger while sitting. So <laughs> this felt like a pretty unattainable ideal, but to be that alert, to be that dynamic and energized while you're sitting. I remember during this first retreat, I think it was the second morning. It was really hard for me to sit still. Again, he was very, very gracious and spacious around. I mean, I don't think I could have been a Zen student if I'd had to start out in a Japanese style Zendo. He mm. didn't mind if you switched positions. He didn't mind if you fidgeted. You could stand up if you were in too much pain. You could stand up behind your cushion. He was very relaxed as long as you were there and you practiced. So I'd been practicing all day and I woke up the next morning and I went into the bathroom. I looked in the mirror, brushed my teeth, and I don't know how long it was, maybe just a few seconds or a split second, I saw in the mirror this blackened face of a decaying corpse. I was completely freaked out and horrified. And then, of course, it disappeared. There was just the usual image of me. I couldn't wait to go talk to him. And when it was my turn, I told him, I saw this in the mirror, I was a corpse. To my great surprise, he laughed. And then he took his Zen stick and kind of gently touched my thigh, like gently tapping my leg. We're both sitting cross-legged face to face. And he looked me right in the eye and he said, your body already a corpse? And burst out laughing. And for some reason, I found this mysteriously comforting that he could talk about our mortality and laugh about it because this mm. is the way it is.